So let's check out the latest version of Kali Linux. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video. And today I wanted to look at Kali Linux 23. And this is the latest version of this Linux distribution that's geared towards various information security tasks, such as pen testing, security research, computer forensics, and reverse engineering. And this is one of the most popular Linux distros when it comes to cybersecurity. So any of you guys that are out there looking to get into the cybersecurity field, then Kali Linux is one of those distributions you probably want to look into and become familiar with in order to become successful. And so let me go down and hop over to the website so I can show you guys the release notes and all the information about Kali Linux. Let's get to it. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. Okay, so we're at Kali.org. And of course, I always had a link down in the description of the video, but this is where you can get your copy of Kali Linux. And so let me just go down and walk you guys through how to download it right fast, and then we'll get to the release notes. But let's just hit the download button. And like I said, that latest version is 23.04. Here is the installer images, and then they have the virtual machine. So if you want to use a virtual machine, it's a pre-built VMware or a virtual box image that you can download directly from them, and you can use that. And then also they have an ORM version. The mobile version is starting to become a little popular as well. I've seen people doing videos on it. Then there's a cloud version, container version, Windows subsystem, you know, for Linux, as well as a live boot. And this is just a way to run Kali without actually installing it on your system. So recommend you check that out as well. But let's go down and go to the installer image. And I just want to show you guys, they still have a 32 bit version. If you guys have a system that you want to run 32 bit or some tools that only run on 32 bit, you know what I'm saying? Then you can download that version. And then they also have that Apple Silicon ORM64 downloader as well. You could download that. They have a weekly, you know, regular installer and a net installer. But what we want to do is get that 64 bit installer right here, complete offline installation with customization. And then they have weekly bills, everything. This includes all the tools that, that you get. I mean, you can install them on here. This comes with the base, but this has everything. So you can try this out as well, the everything one, but the only thing is it's 11 gigabytes. So it's a very big installation image. And then they have a net installer, which is like 500 megabytes. You can, you can put that on a CD drive if you still have a CD drive, <laughs> which I find them funny, but uh, just click here. That'll go through and start to download and you can get it. I'm gonna cancel it because I already have it on my system. I already have it set up for the walkthrough of the install, but let's go back home. All right, fast. And I wanted to show you guys the blog and this has the release notes. And this article was released on the 23rd of August. So about two weeks ago, I meant to do this video, you know, back then I talked about it or I mentioned it in a live stream. But I, when I said in that live stream, I was gonna go back to it and do a video, just walking you guys through how to get it installed and a little bit more of the explanation of what has actually changed in this new release. Now it says, today we are delighted to introduce our latest release, Kali Linux 2023.03. This release blog does not have the most features in it as a lot of changes have been behind the scenes. And that's one thing I wanted to point out. They made some infrastructure changes and that's all internal. And it says, which brings a huge benefit to us and an indirect positive effect to you as end users. It always goes without saying, but there are a number of new packages and tools as well as the standard updates. If you want to see, you know, what's new for yourself, you know, download it as well, or you can upgrade your existing Kali Linux installation. And that's true. If you already have it installed, you could just run through the updates and, and update it to this latest version. And it'll come with all the tools and everything. But here's the highlights right here of the change log. It says internal infrastructure. So they made some stack changes, 
you know, in the background. Now, I think they're still making those changes in the background, but they're doing internal infrastructure changes. Then Kelly Autopilot, and this is a automation attack framework, has had a major overhaul. So they overhauled that Kelly Autopilot. And then there's nine new tools that they've added this time around. So, and if you guys didn't know, most releases, they come through and they add new tools to your arsenal of tools that are included within Kali Linux when you install it on your system. And I just went on and clicked that link so you guys can see it, but it's Calico, which is a cloud native networking and network security program, CRI tool, so command line and validation tool for Kubelet container runtime interface, Humble, which is a network service and security observability for Kubernetes using uh, eBPF, and I'm Hex, a Hex editor for reverse engineering, programming, and people who value their retina when working at 3 a.m. So that's cool. Customize, which is customization for Kubernetes. And as you can see, they kind of added a lot of things for Kubernetes in here. You see what, one, two tools, three tools so far that have something to do with Kubernetes, but customize is says customization of Kubernetes YAML configurations. Recono, it says automation platform that combines different hacking tools to complete pen testing processes. Let's see, RZ Gydra, it says a deep Gydra decompiler and slay dissimilar integration for rising. I don't even know what that is, man. Unblob, extract files from any kind of container format and villain it's a c2 framework that can handle multiple re reverse shells enhance their functionality and share them among instances so those are the tools that the new tools that are included set nine so that's nine right there it says we also bumped up the cali kernel to 6.3.7 so that's awesome to see as well unfortunately we had to drop a few packages so they they that's one other thing they do they drop packages you know depending on if it's still being maintained or something like that you know what i'm saying like kingfisher for instance the tool is no longer maintained by the original author so they dropped it you know as an alternative check out gofish so gofish is there and a lot of times they do replace things so plea cost tool does not work with python 3.11 and no response from the original author so if your tool is not maintained they'll drive it out you know what i'm saying it's no point in putting it in there if it's not being maintained and it's probably not working in the latest version as they update now it says for replacement wp scan which i've talked about in the past and if you want to go through a lot of these tools in detail they do cover a lot of them a little bit further down in here i won't go through all that but oh this is one other thing i want to look at the cali autopilot so this was released in cali purple i think it i think i saw it in that install i did a while back where i covered cali purple but uh, cali 23.1 that was when i actually seen it that's when they debated cali autopilot but this is a screenshot of what it looks like. It's basically an automatic attack framework. It is a bit like Autoponder, which follows predefined attack scenarios. The motivation originally started its development for the defensive side of Cali. That's why it was included in Cali Purple. And so that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this release. It's a lot more. Like I said, I'll have the link down in the description of the video so you guys can get to it. But I wanted to walk through the install right fast just to show people that are new to Kali Linux how to get it installed and what it actually looks like when you get into it and how to actually use some of the tools. So let's get to it. All right, so let's quickly walk through the installer right fast. As you can see, it look, it's pretty simple. It's the same as before. So if you've installed Kali Linux, you know, you shouldn't have any problem. This is mainly for people that have never installed Kali Linux before. So that's the only reason I'm including this. Otherwise, I would skip it and just go right to the desktop. But let's run through it right fast. Select your language, select your location. So I put United States hit continue and then this is the keyboard configuration i'm using american english just select what you need hit continue it'll detect it'll scan the media and it'll go through and set up our network connection and then also you can set your host name here hit continue you can skip this this is for a domain name if you need one which you don't need it you can skip it go through and set up your account it's going to ask you for your full name. You don't have to put your full name. I just put Josh or whatever I want for my user account. I can put KIT, whatever, whatever you want. Some people like to put these little cool hacker names in there. So you could do that if you want to. Let's see. 
continue type in our password twice let's go down and it'll automatically give you pseudo privileges for this account so let's go set up the clock i'm gonna go down and set my location my time zone so i'm pacific standard time which is on the west on the west coast so let's go down here continue it's going to detect the drives and this is going to open up the partitioner you just select how you want the system set up so you can use the entire disk guided you can use the guided use entire disk with lvm which is awesome if you need to you know change drive sizes and all that stuff on the fly you can use those logical volumes and then use disk management i mean use entire disk and set up encrypted lvm so that's if you want to encrypt that logical volume and then you can go through and manually do it so let's hit continue there select your drive it's going to partition it for us you can separate how you want it partition so you can have a separate home directory and that's just in case you like to move systems around you could just move your home directory with all your configurations and the system will be set up you know as you move it to another computer if you want to i'm gonna just use the all uh, files in one partition which is fine and continue and then right here this is just finishing our partition it's going to break out what it's going to do the primary partition will be 33 gigs and it'll create a swap for us a logical swap and so let's go down and hit continue boom and then it's going to ask you if you're sure you want to make those changes to the drive all you gotta do is select yes hit continue boom and it will partition our disk and then it should roll right into the installation yeah as you can see right there installing a base system and then it's going to install our tools all right so a few more things will pop up basically this is to select your software you can select whatever desktop environment you want they have three different desktops you can choose from i always select xfce but you can select gnome kde and then also it talks about the tools so you could do the top 10, the most popular tools, the top 10 most popular tools in Kali, as well as the default tools. So these are all available in the live system. So you wanna make sure those two are checked, that way you can get all the tools that are included in the live by yourself. And then you can install from there. You can get other tools that you may need, you know, from the repository. So let's go on and hit continue there. That'll go through and install that software. And like I said, once the space system is installed, that's when it, it'll install all the other software. So we'll wait for that to finish. It's going to retrieve them all, download them all, then install them all on the system. If you want to speed up this process, you can unselect, just get those top 10 and then install which ones you want on the system just to kind of customize it to your liking. And I'll be back in a sec. All right. So the last step is installing grub so all you have to do is hit yes that'll install it on the primary drive hit continue select that drive hit continue that'll install grub the grub boot menu on that drive for us and then we can boot up into the operating system so i'll be back when it finishes all right here we go so the installation complete hit continue it'll reboot the system and then i'll come back once it's finished all right, cool. So we logged into the latest version of Kali. And so let me go down and show you guys. First thing you want to do is update the system. So let me go down and run uname so I can show you guys the current kernel that it comes through. So let's just type dash R. Boom. We got a 6.3.0. I'm sure you can update that, but that's a good kernel version to have. But like I said, you want to update it and Kali Linux is based on Debian. And so it uses the apt package manager. So all you have to do is type sudo apt update, and it may have a, a good amount of updates. I'm not hundred percent sure. Most of the time there is a lot of updates with after you first install. Yeah. And as you can see, it's 363 packages. That's why I didn't run the upgrade command because that'll probably take a while. The install does take a little time because it's a lot of packages that it installs. And now we have 363 updates. Not going to wait around for that to finish, but let's go down and close that out. Just wanted to at least show you guys a kernel. And then that's one of the first things you want to do when you get it installed. And all I'm going to do is walk through the menu just to show you guys pretty much all the tools are broken up into different areas. And so this is beneficial for people that work in the cybersecurity field. It's broken up into all these different categories so you can follow these steps when you're doing your auditing or pen testing 
of a particular network, but you got your in information gathering, vulnerability analysis, web applications analysis, and pretty much all these have tools underneath them. Some of them command line based, some of them GUI based, it all depends. So web application analysis, database administration, or assessment, password attacks, wireless attacks, reverse engineering, exploitation tools, sniffing, spoofing, post ex exploitation, forensics, reporting tools, and social media tools. So you got all those tools there for you. And just so you guys can get some help, if you go under Cali and Offset links, this will take you to the forums. You can go to Cali Linux website, you can go look at the tools. So discover all the tools that are available. And this is a good benefit for people that are interested. If you click on that, it's gonna open up their tools location. So you can search for specific tools. And then it also lists out all the tools here. So if something is not installed, you can find it here, then open up your terminal or whatever the name of that, that package name is, and you can click on them and they actually give you examples of how to use them. So this is an awesome help right here. This little tool website that they have where you can go through and, and look at everything and it has examples and breaking everything down for you. You can get it installed on your system, you know what I'm saying? And it'll add it to whatever category you know, based on what type of tool it is. It may not, I'm not 100% sure. It may just add it somewhere under all applications, but you know, that's how you install new things. But, and if you've used XFCE, basic XFCE. So if we go under settings, we can open up our settings manager. This is how you modify the system, make it look how you want it to look. So appearance, got your, all your different settings like clipboard settings, desktop settings, display settings, all your hardware stuff. So networking, Bluetooth, display, power management, you know, audio, all that stuff. Cause some people actually use this distribution as their main desktop or their main operating system that they run on a daily basis. So their daily driver, they use this distribution. So, you, and you can do that, which it kind of doesn't make sense to me because I don't have a need for all these type of security tools on a daily basis. That's why a lot of people use the, like the live version of it, or they'll spin it up in a virtual machine. They have a, all those tools available to them. But just in case you do that, and it's nothing against anybody that does that, you can run this as your daily driver and you have access to all this stuff. And just to put this out there for most people that are new to Linux and Kali Linux in general, you can get a system set up just like Kali Linux using whatever distro you want to. You can install Ubuntu and then install a lot of these same tools. It's just Kali Linux just puts it all together in one location. You install it and you got all your tools that are specifically tailored to cybersecurity with that breakdown in the menu of the different areas. You know what I'm saying? But you can install all these tools on pretty much any Linux distribution out there. And that wraps up my overview of Kali Linux, this latest version of Kali Linux, 23.3. But now I want to hear from you. Are you excited about these behind the scene improvements that they made? You know, have you actually tried Kali Linux 2023.3 yet? Go down and share your thoughts and experiences down in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative. And as always, subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech and Linux content. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the world of technology. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And of course, keep it tech.